Today while we're singing, we're talking about games that we played with our parents. And I have to say, neither of my parents are big gamers. Uh, none of them are into the video games that much. I think my mom just gave us video games originally because it helped us stop fighting, me and my brothers. But one of the earliest computers was called the Commodore 64. And it had uh, several games on it. There was Time Tunnel. There was the original Prince of Persia, uh, which was awesome. I played that with my dad a little bit. Uh, but the game I played most with my, with my dad was, uh, we had this soccer game. My dad is a, a big soccer fan, or football, if you're trying to be technical. And uh, it was this 2D soccer game, and all you could do is move your players up and down on the screen, and you pass them, it's like a, it was a little soccer game. You tried to score on, you know, you know how soccer works, I don't need to explain that. But yeah, I, I have pretty fond memories of, of sitting on the keyboard, playing the soccer with the Commodore 64, and just extremely terrible graphics. On the uh, favorite arcade games episode, I talked about a game I played with my dad. It was called Cyber Sleds. And I talked about how he would take us to the arcades to play, and you know, I would play against him in one sled, and he would be sitting there next to me in the other. It was this great game. You could pick from all these different sleds, and uh, they all had different like strengths and weaknesses and missiles they could shoot and stuff. And I talked about how I would beat him mercilessly, and how he could never beat me, but he tried, bless his heart. And then I actually showed him the video, and he's like, that's not how it went down. I used to beat you all the time. And uh, I would like to state in this video publicly, and for my dad and for the world, your memory is faulty, old man. You never stood a chance against me. I owned you, I pwned you in the face. I came around those corners like a phantom and lit you up before you could even get close to me. Uh, if you want a rematch, I still know some arcades that have the machine. I'll bring a camera so that I can put it on my channel so that I can show everyone exactly what happens when I play you in Cyber Sleds. Uh, I remember it correctly, I own you. My dad is, he's a big kid. That, uh, he taught me about Star Wars when I was two. I watched Night of the Living Dead when I was four. Like, just awesome. So we played a lot of video games growing up. Uh, actually, truth be told, he played a lot of video games when I was growing up. And I, I remember like, I would ask him like, hey dad, can I watch you play Super Star Wars? Or, hey dad, can you play this so I can watch you? We did play some games together. Uh, one of which I remember was a lot of, we played a lot of Mario Kart. We're talking back in the day, Super Mario Kart. Like those awesome flat graphics with the, it, it was still great. One of the best Super Mario Karts to date. Uh, and I always came in second. I'd always come in second. Could never, ever beat my dad. I couldn't. And there was this one night, I, it was like, I was up way past my bedtime. And my mom wasn't home from work and that's why I was able to get away with it. And it was, I was, I was like, I was, I was getting up there. I was always about to pass my dad, but then he got a call from work. So he had to like pause the game. He was on the phone. I'm like, I'm just looking at the clock. I'm like, get off the phone. Get off the phone before mom gets here. Mommy's gonna be here soon. Get off the phone. He never got off the phone. My mom got home. I got in trouble because it was past my bedtime. And I was like, but I almost beat him. Like, no, go to bed. And I never beat him. I never beat my dad at Mario Kart when I was a little kid. Dang it, who takes work phone calls at 10 o'clock at night? What if he had actually just paused the game so that I couldn't beat him? Shenanigans! Uh, the next game I played with my parents, again with my dad, sometimes with my mom, uh, was ping pong. You might be thinking to yourself, what video game ping pong is there besides pong? Well, there isn't. My parents aren't big gamers. So they bought us a ping pong table and we played ping pong with them. It's not much of a story to that. Uh, my dad used to bet me, my dad was like the best ping pong player in the house and he'd always bet me stuff that he wanted me to get done. Like my mom would want to do the dishes and then he'd be like, hey Matthew, I'll play you in a game of ping pong so you don't have to do the dishes for a week. And I'd be like, cool. And then I would do it and I would lose and then I'd have to do the dishes for a week. And he'd be like, hey Matthew, you wanna, see, I'll, you have to mow, whoever loses has to mow the lawn the next four times. And he'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna, not after, no, I mowed the lawn. I was mowing a lot of lawns and doing a lot of dishes is basically what I'm trying to say. As a kid, that was in between gaming sessions. But yeah, lost a lot of ping pong to, to the pops. Another game I used to play with my dad, yeah, they're both my dad. Uh, my mom wasn't that big into video games, oh, she, although she could play a little Super Mario Bros. But I remember me and my dad used to play a lot of Kirby's Dream Course. Uh, another game I viciously, viciously beat him at. <laughs> it was like Kirby, but with golf but you could still turn into things like a tornado and knock your opponent off. So you'd have, you'd have to get to this hole in so many shots and you'd have to destroy these enemies along the way, but then you could also activate your powers and like freeze the other person playing, turn into a tornado, knock them off the course, turn into a spike ball and like uh, 
spike him or rock drop on him. And it was a lot of fun. It was more strategy based game. It was a little slower paced. And uh, yeah, I also destroyed him in that. I, my dad could play a pretty good Super Bomberman. But in most games, in most games I owned him. And to be frank, the majority of the time I won in Super Bomberman as well. A game we played together as a family, which a very, I guess maybe a weird game, but we did a lot of uh, for the Super Nintendo was the Tetris slash Dr. Mario game. Uh, there was a game mode where you first did like a round of Tetris, then you played a round of Dr. Mario, then you played a round of Tetris. And this was a game we just played a lot of. Like, I remember specifically in first grade, you know how you'd get those, those papers with like, you draw a picture, then you write a sentence, and it was like, what do you do with your parents? And then I drew a picture of us playing Tetris Dr. Mario, and like the TV screen had a little speech bubble, and it's like, Tetris! And then my mom was like, damn it! Because my dad would keep getting the Tetris! And this is actually why I am one of the best Tetris players I know. This, this is why I'll never play it on a game bank, because I'm gonna say, I'm great at Tetris, and then all of a sudden, I would just lose to everybody because I wouldn't get a stupid long piece, because you know how that, that, that just always happens. Uh, but I did recently play that, like, it was like drunk, drunk Tetris on my channel, where I'm like controlling the pieces, and they're just all flying around. I was still good at Tetris even then. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for playing video games with me when I was a kid. Now I know you love me more than Sohinky's parents love him. Ah, bird! <laughs> I'm just kidding, Sohinky. Ah, uh, now he's crying. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, let me go fix this. How do you like that, Dad? You like it? It's for the world to see. Do something about it. Come to California. I'll own you again. It'll be like old times. <laughs>